<laughs> We've been friends a long time. We have. It's like almost 30 years, I think, when you really look at it, right? I bet it's over 30 years. It's been a long time. Yeah. So when I met you, we met in a faith community. We were part of a I, we were part of a passion play. Mm -hmm. I felt like we had known each other a long time. Yes. Like, oh, here's a person I like. I recognized you. Yeah. As somebody that I had known before, and I had never met you in this life. What do you remember from meeting me? The passion play at the big church, and then we we had a um, folk group. We sang in the folk group, and we had this little like discussion face sharing, face sharing group yep. that would meet. I remember sitting next to you in that circle and having that same experience. Like, oh, I know this. I know this person. I feel like we've lived a lot of different lives in between. Them. It does, yeah. Not, not the same people that we were back then. No. What do you think? We are, are. We are. Well, I guess everybody in their 20s is different than they are in their 50s, right? And yeah. So there's some of that. But then just, yeah, I think you and I are both kind of seekers and are trying to yeah. Trying to just like bring out the best part of ourselves, really. Yeah. We became thick as thieves really quickly. We did. You've always been a person who likes to get really I like personal, to know everything. Yeah. Yes. Personal questions. You want to like know someone's soul. But I'm not that person, yeah. you know. So we had this cup we're sitting at the bar and Shelly wanted to get into these deep conversations and we got into like, what's your greatest fear? <clears throat> I said that. Yeah, but Which... you went first. I said, What's your greatest fear? And she went you went on I went on about like, you know, I guess it would be that my secrets would be out there and that people would know my story and that I wouldn't have control of <laughs> it anymore and that they would interpret me a certain way. And I went on and on and then turned to you and said, well, what's your biggest fear? And I said, spiders. And I, <laughs> <laughs> I almost lost it. If ever there was a moment that I was going to throw a drink at somebody's face, that would have been it because I had just been so vulnerable. Like I had, I wasn't used to these conversations, yes. but I felt like I knew you. Yeah. But you were also like hysterically laughing at the same time. Of course. But mostly I wanted to throw a drink in your face. And somehow that sums up the next 30 years. I was just thinking that, you know, as uncomfortable as I am, still am with these deep probing questions, I'm grateful for them that they happened at the same time from you because, you know, it, you have to have to answer these questions at one point or another for yourself, at least, if for no one else. You know what I mean? I think so, too. You know, that may not be true for everybody. Is everybody having a conversation like this at some point in their life? Or is it us? Or is it just like at the moment that life ends? I don't know. You know, I think about my family, my our big Irish Catholic family. And uh, I think, have they ever had this kind of a conversation? I, I don't think I have had many conversations of that kind of depth with people that I'm actually related to. I learned how to be intimate in a lot of ways with mm -hmm. you. I think that's true of me too, for you. Yeah. I do. You're someone that I've loved right away. Like, oh, I love this person. Yeah. You know, you meet people like that yeah. occasionally. So you're a singer. Yes. I know. <laughs> Will you sing something for me, John Baker? Come on. I know, I want you well, to. I, you know. You Don't fight me. I will fight. Well, what do you want? I want you to sing something. This is the way every conversation is going <laughs> For 30 for years. For 30 years. I'll sing you this. Okay. This is an Irish toast. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your fields. And the rain falls soft upon your face. And until we meet again, till we meet again, may God hold you. May God hold you in the palm of his hand. Beautiful, John. Thank you.